Good day, great day, blessed day, people. I am back with another video, back with another review, back with another vlog. I am back, and today I would like to talk to you guys about exclusive access for the Jordan 4 Thunder, which I just missed this morning. It took place this morning at like around between 8 o'clock, 8.15, somewhere around there, and I was working, cutting hair. Started extremely early this morning, but that's a whole nother story. But I missed it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys missed it, but I missed it. I'm pretty sure I missed. Pretty sure I missed it, and you didn't miss it, which is cool because my sense of urgency for this sneaker is not that great. I'm really not 100% sold on this sneaker. That's just me. I'm more so used to the the old school Jordan Four color blockers. That's why I'm really not sold on it like that. I may still purchase it. It's a possibility that I might. It's a possibility I might not, but I still have an entry in for Champs and Foot Locker, and I'm pretty sure I probably will hit on it. The main sneaker that I wanted to talk to you guys about today was the, the past release, this past Saturday's release of the Jordan 1 White Cement. I feel like this sneaker is underrated. And maybe it's because I like the style of it, but I just think it's underrated. I'm definitely a huge fan of the Jordan 1. The Jordan 1 is my favorite silhouette for those of you that don't know, which I'm pretty sure you do. So I'm sold on it. I'm sold on the color block and I'm sold on the entire shoe. It's not too much elephant print for me. That's just for me. I'm not here to convince you to like what I like, but I just think that I've seen other sneakers come out that have not been all that desirable and people have went crazy about it. The craftsmanship of this sneaker is great. To me, it's great. The craftsmanship is great. It's what I like. That's just how I feel about it because I like it. I mean, I just, I like the shoe. I believe that a lot of people are going to, after this sneaker is gone, long gone, a lot of people are going to regret not purchasing this sneaker. Especially if you're one of those people that are into reselling. I just feel like that some months down the line, maybe a year down the line, that the value of this sneaker will increase. And once, and what happens when the value of a sneaker increases? All of a sudden, everybody wants that sneaker. We've seen, we've seen Jordan brand drop shoes like this. We've seen them put out shoes like this and right away they don't do very well. Speaking of one, I know I've heard a few people say, well, we've never seen a Jordan one hide it. It's had this much uh, elephant print on it. That's not true. That's not true. Back in 2016, I don't know if a lot of you guys remember, you probably don't, but we had a Jordan 1 Unsupreme. That was the name of the sneaker. And that, a lot of people weren't too excited about it when it first came out. But then as some time went by, the value of the sneaker increased. And once the value increases on a sneaker, people feel like they can make some money off of it in a resale market. Now everybody wants the sneaker. That's just how it works. I mean, the shoe was dope to me. I had the Unsupremes. I just sold them to my nephew just recently. The only reason why I did was because the sneaker was a half size too big. If it was my size, my exact size, I would have kept those. I mean, it's just at the end of the day, it, it boils down to what you like. Buy what you like. Wear what you like. Don't, don't form your opinion because... Everybody else wants a sneaker. Just buy what you like. I mean, it is what it is. I like the sneaker because it has the same vibe to it that the Jordan 3 Reimagined that we just got. That everybody went crazy about. It has the same vibe. They have the same vibe. It's the same color blocking except on the Jordan 3 Reimagined. There's a red jump man on the tongue. 
But other than that, it's the same, it's the same color block and same vibe. Whatever you can wear with those Jordan 3s, you could wear with the Jordan 1 white cement. Same vibe. It is what it is. I just wanted to put that out there in the air. I'm not gonna keep you guys too long. But wait a minute, before I let you go, let's talk about another sneaker that I'm looking forward to. Don't know if you are. It's the Jordan 5 Craft. Um can't think of the release, <laughs> I can't think of the release date right off top of my head, but so far, I'm digging this craft series that Jordan Brand is dropping. Everything that we've seen that they've attached that craft to, the color blocking is similar. And I'm digging it. It's a nice laid back vibe. It's not too bright and vibrant. Um, it could be for summertime based on the sneaker that they're dropping. I'm feeling maybe, maybe, well, not necessarily summer. I guess you could pull it off in the summertime, but it would be more for like, Spring or fall. That's what I'm kind of feeling. That uh, craft series is kind of giving those kind of like a spring or a fall vibe to it. But I noticed there was a sneaker that came out maybe a month ago, two months ago. It was the Jordan 11 Low, i.e. brown or wood was the color blocking that they gave it. But it's the exact same colors that's being attached to the Jordan Craft series. I just think that if they had a name that Jordan 11 Low, i.e. Craft, that it might've gave it a bigger buzz, even though people don't really too much care about the IEs. And I'ma let you guys know, I'm a fan of the IEs also, call them ugly if you want to. The most comfortable Jordan sneaker ever made damn near has got to be that Jordan 11 Low IE. If you never try one on, go in the store and try on the 11 low IE and you will agree. A lot of these Jordans that we're crazy about, they're not even comfortable. With the exception of the eight and the 13. Some of the rest of these Jordans are, they're not even really comfortable. You gotta buy them a half size big to have some comfort. And even then, sometimes it's still not that comfortable. It is what it is. At the end of the day, like I said, buy what you like. That's that. That is today's video. I'm not going to keep you guys too long. That is today's video. If you like today's video, click the like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. And as always, I love you guys.